Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for your great support always. I'm so grateful for your continued support to this channel. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Now, Kenyans, this is just another game for Gadi Gashagwa's team as Justice Lawrence Mugambi refers case challenging Gashagwa's impeachment to the Chief Justice of the Republic of Kenya, Mata Kome, to form a three-judge bench. The question is, eh? I've seen some are saying that Gashagwa's hope for judicial intervention is misguided. So the impeachment process is designed to be conclusive. <laughs> and so some are saying that leaving no room for regarding Gashagwa to appeal, this is a mission for some individuals, or rather, let me say, William Ruto and his close allies who are behind this impeachment. So that as this impeachment is going to be finalized, regarding Gashagwa will not, will not have any room in National Assembly, regarding Gashagwa will not have room in Senate Assembly, and he will not have any room in judiciary. But now, some are saying that resigning now is the only way for him to salvage any remaining credibility and avoid the permanent consequences of impeachment. But again, I want to ask a simple question. As some are saying that Gashawa's hope for judicial intervention is misguided, I want to ask this. What kind of process are they talking about? How about what we start at the public participation? That is my question. Was this public participation just a, a waste of time? Because remember, Article 1 of the Constitution says that pa uh, people's power is supreme, you know, or rather, power belongs to the people, you know. So I think. Mm, where Kenyans said impeachment both instead of one, how about the emotional voting that took place in Parliament? That is the question. I want you to listen to uh, uh, Justice Lawrence Mugambi referring this case to the Chief Justice. But before we do that, ladies and gentlemen, just do me a favor, ensure you like the video. When you like the video, you automatically support the work that I'm doing in this channel because sometimes you watch the video and you forget liking the video. So this is just a reminder at the same time you watch the video, ensure you like the video. Thank you so much for that like. Let us listen to Justice Lawrence Mugambi. As courts do not exist to, inter to, to serve the intellectual stimulation of elitists, but to serve the public in matters of great concern to them, and this, one, and this one is one of those rare occasions that the court should arise to the occasion and serve the public with all, this, with all the resources that it can possibly summon. And in my view, despite stiff opposition by the respondents, it is my considered opinion that these petitions raise weighty constitutional questions that fall under Article 163, B and D2. Hence, I am persuaded to refer them to the Chief Justice for and for and Parliament of a bench. The lead petition shall be petition number E522 of 2024. The rest to be funded alongside this file to the Chief Justice are petition number E509 of 2024, E537 of 2024, E528 of 2024, E525 of 2024, and E506 of 2024. So that is the decision of the court. So as far as we are concerned, the way the Constitution of the Republic of Kenya is giving us powers, we as Kenyans, I think judiciary now has a golden chance to redeem itself and restore public trust. Remember one thing, they should read the mood of the country and overrule the mob lynching of Gashawas by the National Assembly. It is not adding up. And that is why I asked you a simple question. Kenyans, what was the purpose of doing public participation if they were to disregard and disrespect the public participation? 
I was keen and I watched every area. I analyzed them in this video. It was not videos that were coming from me. I analyzed videos that came from Mount Kenya. I analyzed videos coming from Rift Valley, some videos from Nyanza, videos from Coastal, some videos in Nairobi, some videos in Ukambani. What did this Kenyan say? They said, this impeachment is not a priority. It's not a priority. Na kama wanaenda, kufa makanga, kufa, dereva. But now they are fooling us, telling us, iwezi kuwa kufa makanga, kufa dereva. And so, they want that one person to go. At wana claim, sasa wakienda wote na si tumebebo kwa yu gari, ati tutanguka sisi wote. And that is why we are saying, better, let court decide. Let her not give, let Rigavika Shago not have, or let him not leave any chance. Let him exhaust them all. You know? Rigavika Shago said that he is going to fight for this. As per the constitution of the Republic of Kenya. You saw the mob justice against Rigavika Shago in National Assembly. It was so shocking. Remember, when there is something serious to be discussed in the National Assembly, these members of parliament are not there. I was shocked that day. People were full. Over 300 members of parliament, they were there. That is why I want to tell you there's something secretive behind the impeachment of Rigadi Gashagwa. It's not just about gross violation of the constitution. It is just some individuals sat down, prepared this, to ensure that Rigadi Gashagwa must fall. It was just a political grudge. But these so-called gross violations, you all left, right, center, sujiri gadiga shagwa, ahana eshima, sujiri gadiga shagwa kuna kiburi, nani ana kiburi, sujiri gadiga shagwa ni corrupt, nani si corrupt kwa iserikali. So it is just some individuals who are ganging up against gadiga shagwa, and this was planned earlier on. It was planned all the way. So the truth, let us wait how things are going to be. Because again, the judiciary will behave the same way to the National Assembly. And Senate, we don't know how they are going to do. But again, there's a possibility these people are, 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 are influencing some individuals there to ensure the Garga Shabu is going to be kicked in National Assembly and Senate Assembly. It is so sad that in our country, we no longer have voice. Despite of them having public participation, they went ahead and they recorded their own figures that public participation, 85% of it, said that Rigavika Shago must go. But these were just figures that were filled by these individuals. I saw and I listened to Mele Odiambo, who is the minority whip in the National Assembly, say that over 85% support the impeachment of Rigavika Shago. The question is, is that the truth? It is not. It is not. The ground rejected the impeachment of Rigadi Gashago. And they said it is not a priority. It is not a priority. We have some issues that should be discussed. We have some issues that should be discussed. We cannot overcrowd in some issues where there's nothing we are going to benefit from. But when they had public participation, they went ahead and changed the, the numbers there. But in truth, some areas, even public participation, was not conducted. Then I'm asking Meli Odiambo, who is the minority whip in the National Assembly, where did he, not he, where did she, uh, where did she got these so-called figures from public participation? Because I know we listen to what Kenya said. So they cannot convince us. They cannot convince us. So let us just wait how the court is going to be. Because I thought like the court was going to reject to refer this case to the Chief Justice. Now we are being told that Chief Justice will form a three-judge bench. Let us wait. Are they going to redeem regard Gashago? or not? That is the question we are asking. More or less, 
I think it is just a political um, conmanship and sellout that is continuing to our country. That is it. They are claiming the other one is bad, but them, they are clean as white as snow. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of your great support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video. Bye-bye till you meet in another video.